Well, in Wisconsin today, Republicans are insisting that a controversial bill to curb the power of state unions is now officially the law of the state, despite an ongoing court challenge. But the bigger story here may be the massive recall efforts funded with millions of dollars from unions and liberal groups across the country that are gaining ground at this moment. Lou Dobbs is the host of Lou Dobbs Tonight on the Fox Business Network, and he's with me now. Lou, the, uh, the Republican State Leadership Committee, which is headed mm -hmm. by Ed Gillespie, who, right. you, who was the former national GOP chairman, they are now so worried about this recall effort that they're making a, a mid-cycle investment of dough into Wisconsin uh, that it could have used in 2012. But they are getting very concerned that this push by the left to have these GOP state senators recalled has that it may be onto something. Well, Ed Gillespie, as you know, is a smart guy. And if he says the Republicans need money to pour into Wisconsin, somebody better pay attention on the Republican side. Uh, because moveon.org, uh, George Soros, uh, the AFL CIO, the Service Employees Union, they are massing to attack that, that state's legislature. Yeah. And because of the uh, the easy manner in which uh, you know the state put it together so that one can be recalled from the Senate or the from it's the, a uh, weird state like that. Oh, Wisconsin absolutely. is where it's, it's unusually easy to recall a lawmaker. But you know, I absolutely kind of like it. Yeah. I like the idea that people have to get engaged, they have to get involved, and if MoveOn.org wants to go in there, fine. Send in the Republicans, send in the conservatives, do whatever is necessary. But this is a time for the American people to be debating and having a dialogue, and if it takes money and sweat. So be and it. it's going to go beyond Wisconsin because Absolutely. as we've talked about this sort of you know union crackdown or budget busting bill whatever you want to call it is taking place in more states than Wisconsin but let me just give the viewers a flavor for how the left is going after this issue in Wisconsin in support of this recall take a look at one of the ads I believe that the issues that are being discussed here in Madison are not unique to Madison or the state of Wisconsin. These are national issues. Money is being taken away from workers and the tax breaks given to major corporations. This is Republican class warfare, an attack on the middle class. This is a battle we need to win. Republican class warfare, an attack on the middle class, the little kid with the mom's union, that this is, we're not just going to see this in Wisconsin, we're going to see it elsewhere. Not. And the question is, if the Wisconsinites manage to recall the eight GOP state senators mm -hmm. who did this, what happens in the other states like Ohio and Pennsylvania well, and elsewhere? Remember, there are also eight Democrats being recalled as well in that state. So this, this is going to be a Donnybrook and of the best, the, of the best kind. This is about the will of the people in Wisconsin. What they decide will be the result. And but if the if the left wins in its effort to get the uh -huh. Republicans recalled, does it have a chilling effect on other Republican oh, I, governors I, and Republican uh, lawmakers in other states? Megan, honestly, I don't think it has a chilling effect. Really? I think it has a galvanizing effect. And really? If, yeah, absolutely. If the centrists in this country, the moderates in this country, and conservatives aren't energized by the arrogance. It, it, that is represented by what MoveOn.org and the AFL-CIO and the other labor unions are doing there. I don't know what it would take to galvanize them and create a full-blown participatory democracy. But politicians, aren't they, as a general lot, you know, a bunch of scaredy cats? And well, they want to keep their if jobs. They are a little scaredy and cats. If, aren't they going to be a little scared over there in Ohio and elsewhere? They say, oh, well, look what happened to those guys over Megan, Wisconsin. I you, like my job. You and I both want any elected official who's going to go to the dark corner of the room and suck on their thumb, we want them out of there whether Republican <laughs> or Democrat, right? <laughs> I and don't that's know. The it depends on the legislation. I understand. I understand. <laughs> Sometimes you just want them to be quiet. Well, quiet is not bad. Sucking on their thumb in a dark corner is bad. Uh, I don't know. If, I, I think, Lou, that the, the entire country is going to watch this because what happens if this works, okay? And, and, and let's say the GOP guys and gals get recalled in, in Wisconsin. The, the, what alternative will the rest of the governors have in trying to tackle their state's budgets? They're going to have to do precisely what Scott Walker has done in Wisconsin. They're going to have to attack the issue. That they can't. If they can't crack down well, on unions because they're worried politically about what move on is going to do to them, what's their next option? Their next option is uh, rest with Ed Gillespie because he's got, to provide, he, he's got to provide political support and money to move ahead with their message. The message is clear. We can't run government at any level the way we've run government for the last 50 years in this country. We've got to have responsibility prudence and judgment. And that can't be done when you walk in the door just signing away the rights as governor to making a decision about your state's future and the state legislature being absolutely coward 
by uh, you know a bunch of money and uh, moveon.org and a, and, a, and a funny guy by the name of George Soros in the background yelling, it's my way or no way. Well, you raise an interesting point. It's not just the Republicans who are facing recall. It's also these Democrats. Yeah. Uh, it could happen as early as June. Eight GOP peers, eight Dems, 16 targeted Wisconsin State Senators. Wow, that's going to be an interesting thing to watch. Thank you, sir. Well, Lou Great. Dobbs, everybody. And Great you can catch Mr. Dobbs, as you may have seen in the advertisement preceding his appearance right here. Yeehaw. On the Fox Business Network every night. We're very proud to have him.